Hi everybody, Kerry here at the North East Autism Society and I'm joined by, joined by Tony from the Life Science Centre and Hi. today our activity today our activity is called Bouncy Balls. So Tony, can you tell us what we're going to be doing today? Great. So one of the young people got in touch with us and said that they'd like to learn about energy transfer. So I came up with this experiment with some bouncy balls that can explore how energy gets transferred from one um, type to another. So I made a little video earlier because as you can see now, I'm uh, back in the lab at the Centre for Life. Um, and this is really an experiment that's perhaps best to do outdoors. So um, let me show you what I tried. So you can see I'm outside the Centre for Life with a basketball and a tennis ball for this experiment. First, I drop the basketball and you can see it bounce. And I do the same with the tennis ball. Watch closely and see how high the balls bounce. Do they manage to bounce high enough to get back to where they started, where I dropped them from? What could you see happening there, Kerry? So the second time it looked like they didn't go as far. They didn't go back to where they started from, Tony. So when I'm holding the ball in the air, I've given it gravitational potential energy. It's got the potential to move. And as soon as I let go, it starts moving and we call that kinetic energy. It hits the floor and it actually loses a little bit of the energy. Um, it's transferred to sound. So for example, you'll hear it when it bounces off the floor. So some of that energy has been transferred to sound energy. So because the basketball doesn't have as much energy when it moves up, it doesn't go as high. Now, this time I'm going to experiment with what happens if I stack the ball one on top of the other. Did wow. you see that, Kerry? <laughs> Tony, I did see that and it looks like the tennis ball just completely went out of the shot. It, it jumped into a completely different direction, didn't it? It did. It totally flew way above my head, much higher than either of the balls bounced before. But where did the tennis ball get all that energy from? So the secret to this one is to watch the basketball carefully as well, not just the tennis ball. The tennis ball's blown out of shot, but the basketball doesn't move very far at all. Its bounce is much smaller than it was before. And that's because it's lost some kinetic energy. Now, kinetic energy doesn't just get destroyed or disappear. Energy doesn't do that. It always gets transferred to another type of energy. So in this case, it got transferred to kinetic energy and passed on to the tennis ball. So the tennis ball suddenly had far more kinetic energy and was able to go flying completely out the shot of the camera. Mm, that was interesting, Tony. I've wondered as well what it would be like if we tried it with lots of different balls of different shapes and sizes that you might use for different sports and how well they would work. So perhaps the people at home might want to try that. Yeah, I think, Tony, we'll set our young people a challenge to have a go of this with all different balls. They could be flashing ones or big, little, um, or the very, very bouncy balls that you get, footballs mm -hmm. maybe. And take some photographs, take some videos like what Tony did and send them to us and let us see how you get on and what you find in your investigations. So that's it from us this week, but we will see you, see you all very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.